Yes, sir. The boys are back. The boys are back in the building. Welcome to the No Petty Kick Podcast, episode number 27. Switch and kick. Billy Go. No Petty Kicks. It's that time. Yeah, man. It's that time there, everybody. Welcome to the sports edition of No Petty Kick Podcast. We back. It's Football Sunday. We're recording on Football Sunday. Right now, we got the Chiefs and Jags going. My boy was sweating his nuts off right now. Sweating. <laughs> sweating. Teaser in play. Teaser uh-huh. in play. In but trouble, though. In trouble, huh? In trouble. Well, that's Sunday, though, everybody. It's all the gamblers. Shout out to all the gamblers out there. Shouts out to all the gamblers. Let's kick things off, man. Aiden Rodgers said he's coming back. Playoffs. He said he need every bit of motivation. He need every bit of doubt. He need every bit of uncertainty because he going to show you. He said he going to go with the Cam Makers model. Come back in five months. Ooh. From the Achilles? That what he want? Nah. 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 Not at 40. Nah. Yeah, exactly. Not at 40. Cam Makers ain't 40. Nah. 23. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. The healing process is a little bit different. But, yeah. but he is going to the doctor, though, who did Kevin Durant's yeah. Achilles. Yeah. Um, I believe it's also um, this guy also was the first person to do Dominique Wilkins' Achilles back in the day as well when mm. Dominique came back in a year. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be anywhere from eight months to a year, most likely. Mm. Playoffs, I don't know about that, Rogers. Um, but I hate that for you. I know some people don't care about my boy. I know some people don't care about my boy, but, man, I'm praying for you, Rodgers. I hope you get ready to come back, man. That's terrible. My boy did four plays. Four plays, man. And really, oh. he did it to himself. What you mean? I think uh, the way he was rolling in the pocket, I think he kind of brought some of the pressure to him as opposed to, for whatever reason, they did four passing plays on the first drive. Like, they should have been handing the ball off. Yeah, establishing okay. the run. Okay. Knowing that the offensive line was going to be the weak point. Everybody knew the offensive line was trash. Everybody knew they had a bust at, at right tackle as well, or left tackle, whichever one Beckton is. But overall, they, they knew it was going to be an issue, but they chose to run the ball, and, or they chose to pass, and it just didn't make no sense. Mm. I just couldn't imagine putting in all that work, all season, and it's over. Four plays. Four plays, bro. Can you imagine all that work management did to oh, get them? Man. Oh, my God. That's the part where you like, man, like that's the, that's who you really hurt for. That's who you hurt, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The players are the players, but mm-hmm. the but the organization invested in this move. Oh yeah. They could they passed on going after Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. yeah. They passed on going. Derek Carr took the first visit there. Remember that? Oh yeah. Derek mm-hmm. Carr went there before he went to the Saints. Oh yeah. They passed on capable star. That's really all they needed. They didn't need nothing special, mm-hmm. supposedly. Yeah. They yeah. didn't need nothing special. Yeah. Derek Carr down there making the Saints look look like something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, Jimmy G being Jimmy G, but overall, yeah. that's tough. That's, mm. a t- that's a tough, hard pill to swallow, man. Tough, man. Uh, also, who's going to take a blow is the Green Bay Packers. They don't get the first round pick if Green, if he doesn't play 70% of the plays. Right. He's, it's the mm. second round pick, but from the looks of it, Jordan Love look capable. Like the, yeah, look like oh, yeah. They, they cool. They, <laughs> they cool. 20, uh, 24 22 right now. Yeah. Jordan Love looking good. Yeah, he ain't giving the games away. Yeah. No, you know? he ain't giving the games away. Let's go, Detroit. Let's cover. Let's cover. <laughs> we gonna have to turn the TV on. That's what have to do. <laughs> Say, <laughs> man. Who, speaking of that, who looking good in the NFC to y'all? Who who y'all surprised yeah. team? I don't got a surprise team. Oh, I do. My team is the known team. The oh team that God. I picked to win the NFC. Dallas Cowboys. Kind of, I think they're gonna win it all. <laughs> you done? I'm done. Hey, man. I will say this. Uh, opening, coming from a Niner fan, the defense looked absolutely spectacular, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the front seven. Y'all got crazy DBs. Y'all only hurting at the safety position. Yeah. And that's only if you fade a team that can throw. Yeah. Yeah. And most of the better quarterbacks or better passing game offenses are in the AFC. Mm-hmm. So that's really a non-factor at this point. But guess right. what, though? Still got to rely on Dak at the end of the day. If Dak fails the Dallas Cowboys this year, I don't think they. I don't think they let him come back. Mm. They ain't got no choice. choice. Yeah, he got two years. Oh, he got two years left. They ain't got no choice. Oh, they ain't got a choice. Ain't got no choice. And honestly, there's nobody else better. Yeah. Yeah. But honestly, 
Dak Prescott, Brock Purdy is the same conversation. Hey, you yeah. know, it it's don't. the same conversation. You need guys that can manage and not give the game away. Right. Yeah. So if Dak doesn't throw 17 interceptions last or 14, whatever the number was, mm-hmm. we have a whole different narrative about him coming into to this season. Right. So you really just need him to Brock his way through the season. We need him, but can he? Well, that, that really comes down to the coaching and the scheme. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think can the scheme put Dak in a situation where he can be successful and minimize those level of turnovers? So. Mm, I agree. Mm. But the two best teams in the league right now are definitely the NFC. Yeah. For sure. 100%. Absolutely. So we're going to just leave out the Eagles like that. We're not going to give the Eagles no respect. I don't think the Eagles' defense looks the way that either one of those teams' defense looks, regardless of the offensive side. Mm-hmm. I, I think now their running game is is scary. Spectacular, I by mean, the way. It's like they can get six, seven yards whenever they want to. Feel like. Right. That blocking scheme is amazing. Swift, uh, between Hurt, Swift, what's our other guy? Uh, he Hurt, I got him on my team. Uh, the other third, the oh my second God, running back bro. behind him. Um, I don't got my phone. He he was killing, you know what I'm saying, in space. Yes. So, he was hurt yesterday. But I don't know if they – if they're going to be consistent enough with incorporating the passing tools mm. that they got. So that's so, my concern. Yeah. So what happens when they get down 10, 14 points? Yeah. Are they able to keep up? Right. I don't know. I do say the offense passing game looked different. I didn't realize they lost their off- offensive coordinator. Yeah. Y'all got him. Head coach. Head coach. Yeah. Making my boy look spectacular out there. Out right there. Guys. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Anthony Richardson. Bro. Man, gotta learn. Stop, bro. Gotta learn, bro. <laughs> learn, bro. You look so good today. I then I get an alert on my system. He's out. Concussion. What? Concussion. 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 Back to back games. Got to learn how to. Being available is better you than 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 trying to find a way to make every play. Yeah. Right. Sometimes just getting to the next down is the big thing. But he young, y'all. I'm telling y'all, the dude has thirteen games. Well, now he's fifteen games under his belt, man. He's young, bro. Reckless. And he just bigger than everybody. Well, I said that, that one, the, where he got injured wasn't really on him. Right. He was in the end zone. And he, was, he was getting tackled in the end, end zone, zone. And he fell back in his head. Yeah. So that's funny. Wait, talking about today. Today. Yeah, today. So you know that happened last week, too, though. Yeah. He was trying to dive in the end zone. So, so he wasn't diving and then, like, he was in the end zone, like, had scored. And the dude pulled him down. Yeah. Pulled him down his head. Yeah. His yeah. own yeah. teammate? Or no, 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 no. Defender. Oh, defender. defender. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh man, I thought in celebration. I'm gonna say, bro, nah, man, the team nah, got, nah. we gotta get ones up and one back. <laughs> nah, nah. But but my guy looks good though. Shane Stockton yeah. is gonna scheme him in a way. But like I said, he gotta 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 learn the ropes. But we're not there in any capacity. But no. it's, it's promising. Yeah, promising. Though. Absolutely. Well, my sleeper team, who I said was gonna be good this year, are good. Detroit Lions look damn good. They look good. I like Detroit Lions. They look good. So y'all got no sleeper teams coming from nowhere. I think we all know who I think. The teams who we think are good are good. It's just, yeah. it's like Miami. We know Miami is good. The question is, can Miami take that next step defensively, to to really run Vic Vangio's defense, mm-hmm. the scheme, right? Yeah. Um, outside of that, Lamar looks sloppy. Boy, the Baltimore has a lot of issues on offensive line. Yeah. The the Browns just still looks sluggish on offense, but the defense looks crazy looks too crazy. now. I told you that that's that's the AFC defense that's on par. Yeah. With, I would say, um, Dallas and and Forty Nine. So absolutely. And I think the team that's doing better than I thought they would do is Atlanta. Like, I think they playing. They playing good ball. Decent, so. They better. <laughs> they got great defense. They signed so many people on defense man, this offseason. Offensively, yeah. you got Drake London, yeah. Kyle Pitts, yeah. B. John Robinson. Yeah. You got a playmaker at every level. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you just need Desmond Ritter just to be halfway decent. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I mean halfway decent. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, down. you know, I, I think it's a lot of young teams that's going to break through maybe next year. But the, thing, the teams who we think are good, I think they're good. Yeah. You know, right. ain't too much change. Yeah. Now, Josh Allen looked like trash last week, but he looked great this he week. Looked great, but that, great but this that's week. that Josh Allen roller coaster that we were I, I, I didn't realize Josh Allen was such a gunslinger like that, that he just throw that many interceptions. They pulled the he stats won. up. That man's a gunslinger, bro. Yeah. His first two years were very erratic. Then he got it right year three, and he looked really special year three. Yeah. Um, but the thing about it is, can he not – he has a hero complex, hmm. meaning he thinks he has to do it all. Right. Because, one, they scheme it that way. 
Right. They really haven't been able to find a run game. And offensive line, they ain't been able to get the offensive line right since he's been there. Right. So they have schemed it to where he feels like he got to do that. Yeah. Mm. But he just got so much talent that, shit, I would probably think I could, too, if I had an arm like that and couldn't nobody really tackle me. Stephon Diggs, they were trying to give you hell last weekend for looking at your quarterback and telling him to be smart. Keep doing what you're doing. Absolutely. I, I, I don't think that you're a problem. Like, people trying to make you seem like you're toxic. I don't think you're toxic. I think you're just passionate and want to win. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I think absolutely. he's just holding his teammate and his coach, I mean, his um, quarterback accountable. Absolutely. Yeah, they try to make it seem like he's a problem, but I don't think he's a problem. No. no. Well, he, they ain't got no choice. He's the only weapon they really got. Yeah. Or that he's the only weapon that Josh Allen trusts. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Regardless of the criticism. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I like Gabe, but Gabe, for some reason. Not consistent. He's not consistent. I don't think he can run routes. I feel like he's just a go yeah, route runner. Diggs is that dude. A Diggs the beast. I mean, there's a significant gap between 1A and 1B. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, significant for them. Significant. I, absolutely, man. Uh, nobody else y'all want to touch on? NFL kind of quiet right now. It's it's early. It's I early. think I think because everybody's trying to really figure it out. Yeah. That's why they said the first two weeks is always the easiest to bet on NFL right. because every team trying to figure it out. Well, and then you you really you really should be you know if you bet you betting on teams who a are younger who played their team played their their players in the preseason mm-hmm. or the older teams you probably hedging. And probably bet against them because they probably got more rest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, teams like Cincinnati, you ain't going to know what Cincinnati looked like till week four. Right. Joe Burrow was out all, see, all preseason again. There's, right. there's no chemistry, no right. timing. So I think it's a lot of things in play like that. So NFL kind of quiet right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely, man. But I tell you what, ain't quiet, y'all. Yes, sir. College football is not quiet. It is not quiet. It's the Dion show. It's the prime time. It's kind of quiet because if it wasn't for Dion, we really wouldn't have nothing to talk about. <laughs> I guess you, bright. Real talk. But 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 since Dion is just so lights, camera, action, mm. showstopper, you know, really really prime time. Come on, bro. They got ESPN and Fox all up there inside Colorado Boulder. Who going to Boulder, Colorado? Boulder, Colorado. He got older rappers up there. Lil Wayne. Mm. Offset. He had Master P up there. Bro, Ka- Kawhi Leonard was there. He don't even show up for his own basketball games, bro. That's, <laughs> right. that's a that's big a fact, fact, bro. That's a fact, man. Bro, that's crazy. He had The Rock there, bro. The fact, Rock, man. you went to Miami, bro. Miami Hurricanes looking good right now. What you doing up there? <laughs> Ain't showed up yet. <laughs> hey, but he bought him a building, though. He has given them a building to the University of Miami. So he did? Yeah, yeah. He, he gave him okay. some okay. 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 okay, well, you Play gave him something. Play Play boy, Offset on the sideline talking about we. Like we, we, we. <laughs> you Atlanta? Man, my boy ain't even thought about the community college down there. Let, let alone, let alone the University of Georgia, oh, anywhere man. else, man. Hey, man, but prime time kept everybody up last night to one thirty in the morning. Mm-hmm. At this I, point, it's must see TV. It's must see TV. Yeah. I thought the game was over. They was down by what two touchdowns? Mm-hmm. And man. His son, Shador, I hope I said his name right, Shador, Shador. my man said he had to go inside Brady mode. That's all he was thinking. I'm going to be honest. All that training you've been doing with Brady, you poor kid. That kid poor man. That kid poor. Bro, that he led the tie and drive, taking the overtime, 99 yards, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me say this. Uh-oh. Master breaks, man. Got to. Got the master break. Got we ain't doing it. They ain't got really you, played nobody yet. We got, got to you. slow that down. Got TCU you. was not a great team okay. this year. They TCU, lost a lot. TCU's going to look completely different come November. Right. Because they are a young team. Exactly. So they caught them at the right time. They caught them at the right time. Okay. And then these last two games have been nothing. You know, just some. We Well, well they were only supposed to win three and a half. That was the right. Under, so, right. Right. So that's the, that's the positive. You look at it like, okay, we only won one game last season. He done really changed the culture. You know, they got a lot of dogs there now. Oh he got something now. Yeah, sure. he got something. He got something. For sure. He got something. He got something. He but got we got to pump the brakes because right. they still got they got some they got dogs awesome. coming up. We got, so what? next week they got Oregon. How do you think they do? They about to get blown out. Blown so, out? Not close. Not close. So here's, blown the, thing. Out. here's the thing, though. It's not even just the, the two obvious games on the schedule. Oh, Oregon and USC, we know. Those were never going to be games they were going to win. Okay. In my opinion. 
Uh, but the Pac-12 itself is just better. Top to bottom, it's a deeper conference. Yeah. So as they continue to get into league play, these games are going to get more difficult, man. U- UCLA Absolutely. was going to be a difficult game. Yeah. Oregon State was going to be a difficult They got DJ Ungalua up there balling. Washington State balling. Washington balling. Like, yeah. people are they on the schedule? I don't, yes. know, I don't think Washington on the schedule. I don't, I don't think, think Washington. I know Washington State and I know Oregon State are on the schedule. Well, Washington State going to be tough. I got a hey, to all you gamblers out there, Washington State, I promise they're good. Yeah. So outside, they got Oregon coming up, Colorado. I mean, got Oregon, USC, Utah, two, 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 two L's. Yeah, Utah, good. Arizona State, they gonna win that game because Dylan Royal is gonna still be out injured. Stanford, they should win that game, mm-hmm. right? Okay. They gonna lose to UCLA. They gonna lose to Oregon State, Arizona. We don't know what they really are I, by then. Are we sure they losing to UCLA? Absolutely. Though? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Yeah, they gonna. absolutely. Okay. We can mark it in the bank. All right. But take the over. Take yeah. the over in that game. High scoring, though. Absolutely. Chip Cat, but they're they, they, they going to lose that game. Uh, Arizona, that's a toss, so they should win it. Then they close the season with Washington State and Utah. Yeah, I think so they win, they I think win five, six games. I and think that's cool. Well. And that's cool for, but, five, for that. But right? to Dion credit, though, he said he's six. He said he's seven or eight players away. Yeah. He said he opened it. Admit so, it. So, really, what he's talking about is defensive line and offensive line. Basically. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what they're losing it. That's. That's what they. Mean. That's where they don't have any margin for error. Absolutely. Meaning right. health and depth. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's where it's really going to come down to, and them, and those are the areas in Power Five football. That's how you win sustainably, right? And year over year over year, unless you're just going to be special on offense. Mm-hmm. But then at the end of the day, the defense still going to let you down because mm-hmm. you don't have the depth. So luckily for them in the Pac-12, the offensive line, defensive line play isn't as yes. Big a deal right. as it is in other leagues, right? And it won't like, be you can't game. get away with that in the SEC. Like, right. Even though the SEC ain't what it what it's been, you can't get away with it. Mm. Yeah, not in the trenches. So, not, not with the big. So, games. y'all don't think Dion got a chance to win none of those games? I think, I think they got a chance because I think they could they could upset a team, but I don't see him win. I, I just I can't see. It. Then you don't know what's going on with Travis Hunter. He might right. be out. Hey man, that was a cheap too, hit, bro. Yeah. That's a cheap hit. Bro. I, I don't know how the dude didn't get kicked out. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how you get clicked out. That, that was a dirty. It hit. wasn't just a. It wasn't just dirty. It was late, like extremely late. Right. You got to get it monitored. Man. That's, right. that, that's that's beyond football. For sure. Yeah, that's that's, just, that's disgusting football. I, I think though the the problem's gonna come into though is can Dion recruit or can Dion take scraps? Mm. Because the transfer portal are the scraps. It's the guys mm. who a weren't working out at their first choice. And they need to be a new environment, newly coached up. Still talent there. Mm-hmm. But it's going to come down to, man, when it comes down to recruiting, who you got signing on signing day? Yeah, mm-hmm. That's really what it's going to come down got to for sustained success. He got the number one already for 2025. No, 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 no. He just visited. He just visited. He and guess sign? what? No, 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 no. Let them take. Let them take. No, no, no. You don't think he's going to sign? Bro, this is money involved at this point. You don't think he had enough bread? Come on, man. You want to talk to his economics to him, bro? Because there's money involved, man. Boy, these boys chasing checks, and Colorado ain't writing these checks. No, no, no. They ain't writing these checks yet, man. No, no, no. Nah, bro. Nah, it's just a whole different ball game, man. So, so I do think Colorado can make in their mind, okay, this the one guy we want. We're going to put a lot towards this one guy. But then you're going to take a hit on other stuff, right? Yeah. So This ain't A&M. No. Nah, this, this ain't Alabama. Nah. This ain't Georgia. This ain't LSU. This ain't any old Miss, bro. Nah, this is to me. People writing chicks, man. Chicks, yeah. NIL? Oh, you're talking about regular chicks. NIL. NIL. <laughs> I can't believe Colorado, money, money. Colorado ain't got no money or is this cheap? Well, they got money, it's not but, about, but it ain't that kind of money. It's not the money. It's really about established infrastructures of knowing how to get and pool resources. Yeah. You got to think, man, Alabama probably got guys who got – Seven, eight car dealerships. Yeah, yeah. Established businesses in the in the state. Right. Like we talking about like real infrastructure that's been in place for how long? Exactly. Because they were at the top of the game for a long time. A long time. Forever. Of passing money around without getting caught. Oh yeah. Forever. So I think that's the part where we gotta understand is that to get to that level, that's hard to do in a short period of time. Bro, my homie was telling me Texas. Oh, we ain't talking about twenty four billionaires. Listen to me. Let me tell you. Me, 24. Who, who? He was like, LSU got one. Listen, yeah. Let me, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. He's LSU for Let me tell you. The worst sleeping giant in college football ain't got nothing to do with Dion. Dion ain't even touching nothing. Yeah. 
But if the University of Texas ever put it together, oh my god, over, it's over. over. Yes, over. Over multiple, they could they could do the three P with no effort. Absolutely. If so, okay. Big Absolutely. money. Absolutely. Hey, between them and A and M, from, a, from yeah. a money, money standpoint, standpoint, yep. Untouched. Yep. Hey, tell me. Shouts out to Texas too, by the way. That quarterback, I don't know your name. Mm-hmm. You're great. And then whenever he leave, they Arch. got the Madden boy coming in. Boy, they gonna be good for the next. Listen, for listen, and they been, and listen, they they they, they getting the meat. They getting the line. They getting. Did you see their defensive line, bro? They got two guys on the defensive line that are 360 pounds plus. Yeah. <laughs> they coming. That's, bro, honestly, that's, 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 honestly, that's the one thing. Uh, Texas is kind of like Alabama was prior to Absolutely. State, where you could tell it was there. It was different. You just needed somebody to come in there and say, okay, I'm running this. We're going to all be unified. Correct. We're going to make this work. If they ever put the money together and make it an organized machine, there ain't no stopping Texas. If they no, actually, if they get if they have a coach that they can get behind and believe in, absolutely, they went through so many years after Mac Brown of not getting it right. Whether it was uh, with 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 uh, Herman, if whether it was with uh, what's our guy, the black guy, um, uh, uh, Strong, Charlie Strong. Charlie Strong, like they just went through a period where they didn't get it right. Yeah, yeah. If Sark is the guy, yeah, man, I'm telling y'all. Right. UT is going to be un they they going to be unmatched with their level of being able to compete year in and year out cuz I remember what the recruiting tables used to look like when Texas wasn't even really Texas no more. Right. Mm-hmm. Man, they was always getting top 5 recruiting class. Absolutely. Before NIL. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you talking about 24 billion. Man, y'all can't do nothing with that. Nothing. Can't do nothing with that. Absolutely. Speaking can't of that, with speaking of SEC Alabama, man, Alabama look rough. Ooh. Quarterbacks trash, both of them. Man. I said, I said, man, they need to sit the black quarterback down. They put the white boy in; he was just as trash. <laughs> so, so the kid they had last week is obviously the better kid. He should be starting, honestly, just from how he plays and the level of dynamic that he he offers from both passing and running. But, Mill or uh, the kid that started black kid, black kid, no, uh, Mill Jalen Mill mm-hmm. He should be the starter. Yeah. Saban has just been so lucky that he's been able to have a kid that can come in, plug and play. Right. Now he's actually got kids that have to be developed, and that just might not work with his timeline. Right. Yeah. So that's where the pressure gonna come in. At. So 2015, Alabama had Jake Coker, and they had some other dude from Colorado or something mm-hmm. like that, four star dude, and they they didn't know who was gonna be the quarterback. They eventually went with Coker, and I want to say they won the uh, championship that year. They won SEC uh, championship there. Yeah, right? SEC championship for sure. They yeah. lost to Ole Miss in 2015. Right. But the thing was, they had Derrick Henry on the team. They had all these other players on the team. That yeah. Defensive-wise. Yeah. Defensive, yeah. they yeah. were yeah. still yeah. legit. I don't know if Alabama is still that team. Mm. Like, you used to be able to name, okay, outside of Kool-Aid McKinstry. Right. I can't really name no. the guys on the, t- on the defense, no. you know. No. I can't really name the wide receivers. And, and and the way that the offense needs to be structured to help a quarterback that truly isn't developed, you can't right. win a title like that. Right. You're not going to win a title running football in, in college football anymore. That's dead. No, yeah, that's dead. <laughs> that's dead. <laughs> it's a wrap. Unless dead. your defense is what? Special. Absolutely. And if we don't know more than one name on the defense, that's it right. ain't special. It ain't special. Yeah. So until they get that part of the side of the ball back being to what it was, but you can't do that now because – Georgia got all them players yeah. that you would have gotten. And Georgia looking rough, too. So, they struggling at the quarterback position as well. Same thing. So, you know. Oh, you mean to tell me the dude that's 30 years old gone? Stetson Bennett. Oh, yeah, Stetson yeah. Bennett. Yeah, he's gone. He's in the league. Yeah, yeah. Right What's, behind Stafford. Wait, Stetson in the league? He got drafted? Yeah. He, yeah, he'd have been oh, the backup quarterback behind Matt Stafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had no, I, I had yeah. no idea he ain't got drafted, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. They were cheating last year with that old quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but that's the that's the thing though. All those players there were so special on defense. That's what Kirby is doing. Yeah. The defense is so loaded. You just hoping that your guy goes in there and does what? Just don't give the game away. And he mm-hmm. and his guy didn't give the game away, but his guy didn't do nothing necessarily to win the, the game, game either. either. No, you see what I'm saying? No, 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 no. But, Alabama's not in that position this year. No. They're not special on defense like that. No. It you looked know. like a three loss Alabama team. Yeah. That's and and like. for them that's that that's panic. Yeah. Hey, if they didn't have that long halftime break, 
they probably would have lost. Yeah. You know, they got, they yeah, got the they water got delay. Yeah, they got the water, yeah, water yeah, delay. Yeah, they got the water sure. delay. South Florida has them on the road. They have them on the road. Bro, so it, it honestly kind of reminds me of back in the day, and everybody remember, when Tyson was just, I'm talking about people fear Tyson. Yeah. Like, before you got in the ring, you had already yeah. lost. Yeah. yeah. Right? But at some point, I want to say around Holyfield, you start to see the, hey, man, this dude can be beaten, man. Ooh, Buster yeah. Douglas knocked him out. When, right, you can start when Buster to see. Douglas boxed him yeah. for nine and a half rounds yeah. and then knocked him out. Yeah, you can start That's to see the, the kinks. That's what's kind of happening with Alabama. Yeah. Right. NIL has changed the landscape of football, man. I love it. These kids now have more options to go places. They're not going to go and sit behind nobody for two and three years just no. so they can shine for one year and get to the league. Nope. They finna go and ball for two years get on their own. Get paid. Get Absolutely. paid while they're there yeah. and then go to the league. So that's the crazy part. Everybody thought that the NIL was going to make the elite teams just More that elite. much better. Nah. But what it's doing is it's making those middle teams that much just better. as much closer Absolutely. to those elite teams. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, fellas. Y'all know what's going on. Absolutely. 49er Faithless, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As y'all know, we are we are recording live NFL Sunday. That's why their eyes keep going to the screen. That's why what are they doing? They what are they doing? They following the ticket, man. You know what I'm saying? Look at Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes, tell your wife stay off Twitter. Tell your brother stay off stay off TikTok. Hey, hold on, so we can go. Let's go and get to it. What's that? Let my boy go and get get his homework oh, yeah. here, man. So before we let him go, <laughs> we told. Uh, my boy in the text mentioned that Nas was dropping a new album. As you all know, Reggie is not a big Nas fan. Magic mm-hmm. three. So we are going to let oh, him. Happy 50th to Nas. Happy 50th to Nas. Happy 50th to the legend, man. Happy 50th to him. But our friend, our brother Switchem Kicks, is going to give y'all his um his take. Honest take, man. Bruh. That's what I'm talking about, man. Honest. That's what I'm talking about, bro. That was a nice, nice album, bro. I think that was a great finish okay. for him to hit. Okay. I mean, I even like, I really like that last track, the 1-800-Nas uh, uh, plus, plus uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was a really good finish. It felt like uh, the end of a movie, mm. you know. I just think that was a great way to end it between the two. I hope they don't do no more projects. I hope that's it. Mm. But I thought the, the album was really nice for Nas. So I'm giving props. No more hate to Nas. That was a good one. The the uh, the uh, tracks that he that he chose were yeah. good tracks. So Nas, you, hey, you got one with that. What about the one with Lil Wayne? You like the song with Lil Wayne? I like the, I like the song with Lil Wayne. Like it, honestly, it started off about the first seven or eight tracks. I was bobbing my head to it. I'm yeah. like, okay, production Nas, was on point. Production was on point. I'm like, Nas did it with this one, man. It's a, it's a solid uh, solid work. Oh man! Shouts out to Nas. Shouts man. out to Nas, man. That's it, man. No, no better kick episode twenty-seven, man. Peace. Peace. I'm here. Click the buttons right here. Subscribe. No petty kicks. Each and every week, we live copping all the no petty kicks, man. You know, nothing but the flyest. Subscribe. Tune in. Tell your friends and turn your notification buttons on.